Once again, people in Karachi have gathered to show their solidarity with Pakistani scientist Dr. Afia Siddiqui and to denounce the Lahore killing in which two Pakistanis were killed by Raymond Davis, a U.S. national. These protesters are angry at what they say the U.S. meddling in Pakistani affairs and its double standards because on one hand, its judicial system sentenced Dr. Afia Siddiqui to 86 years in prison and on the other hand, it is putting pressure on Pakistani officials for the release of Raymond Davis, a murderer of two Pakistanis. The U.S. government insists Raymond Davis, who was arrested after he shot down two Pakistani men, has diplomatic immunity and must be allowed to leave the country. However, Pakistani officials say he's probably a security expert who works for a private contractor, making him ineligible for diplomatic immunity. A UK-based lawyer believes that he is not a diplomat and government is trying to get a forced passport for him. The, the, the most important newspaper in America today carried a story that within a week Raymond Davis will be back. What they are going to do is they are going to have a backdated passport which they will show to the judge and say he's a diplomat, which obviously he's not, and get him back. No diplomat can be tried, provided he's a diplomat, as I as a lawyer can assure you, and I'm not saying as a political propagandist, I'm saying as a responsible lawyer of United Kingdom, Raymond Davis is a CIA agent, he's not a diplomat. Hafiz Siddiqui was arrested in July 2008 in Afghanistan on charges of having links with Al-Qaeda. In early 2010, she was convicted in a U.S. court of trying to kill her U.S. interrogators in Afghanistan. Afia is innocent. Nothing was proved in court. You have to be guilty beyond reasonable doubt. There was more than reasonable doubt in Afia's case, but she was still pronounced guilty. She was sentenced to 86 years when no one was even killed. No one was even hurt. Just on mere speculation and fear. Whereas Raymond Davis has actually killed two people and another, pe another person was crushed by a car that no one knows where it's gone. Siddiqui's family say, despite their serious concerns regarding Afia's health, U.S. officials have repeatedly turned down their request to meet Afia, while in the case of Davis, the U.S. officials have met him several times. Although the Zardari administration claims they are trying their best to ensure the safe and immediate release of Afia, but her family do not pin great hopes on their efforts, as Pakistan does not have any extradition treaty with the United States, while the U.S. officials expect Raymond's release soon. Mohammad Turi, Press TV, Karachi.